And I have another announcement. I am quitting Age of Empires 4. I will no longer be playing games in AoE 4 for at least two hours because it's migration diamond edition time. Gamers, today we are doing migration free for all and this time we got them diamonds. We did bronze, silver, gold, platinum lobbies and now we're on to diamond and once again i'm happy to announce we got all different sieves once more no hre this time and no delhi but we have world first oh, we got world first malian showing up so let's get let's get this clown fiesta under oh, 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 oh my god yo slow down uh, this this game is currently still going on. We just let them play a little bit to make sure that um, You know we can speed up if there's downtime or whatever else Over here in the red we got Yavu The red Ot omen on the right we got Yabo the Chinese gamer the zoom B as we like to call him over here Then to his right we got island boy Viva Mexico. In teal. He's trying to... I don't know what he's trying to do. With, oh, yo! He's pushing the deer so... Okay. Okay. Yo, these diamonds, dude. Uh, Whitey head. The yellow ab acid. The last abacid was actually also yellow. Kind of interesting. Then, Ozidan with the orange Rus. Already with the transfer and two scouts. Two fucking scouts. Let's see how much Boonty you can get. Left from him, we got Silty, the pink Mongo player. Left from him, we got No Meta, the green Malian. Malian for the first time in migration. First time. All the way down here, we got Zunicorn, um, the French purple. And that's it. We're playing on the winter biome now. You know, switching it up a little bit. And uh, I'm expecting a destruction. These guys will see how much better and how well they do compared to the Platinums. Um, obviously, I think the Plats did pretty well. But um, I'm expecting just a tiny little bit, you know, better gameplay and execution and everything else from these guys. So, Orange is with double scout on the main uh, mainland, which I really like. Other players, by the way, are not rushing to the mainland. And this is the one adjustment we're seeing compared to some of the, the other leagues that we've seen. Already some people were dropping their villagers here and trying to like slowly expand or something. Um, but I don't think these guys are going to do that. They're probably going to make more fishing ships and make transport ships later on to maximize their economy a little bit. But yeah, this uh, uh, Ozidan, the Rus player, is going to have insane amounts of Boonty, by the way. Like, he's going to get all the deer in the middle and all the sheep. So, it's going to be pretty good for him. Um, oh, these guys are already uh, taking a little peek at each other. That's an unfortunate dock. That's pretty pretty far. Does anyone have a good dock? Um, I mean, the Rus can just put fishing ships on the deep water. I'm not sure why he's not doing that. Oh, he's struggling for wood a little bit. Oof, long distance chopping wood. Not the greatest opener, but, you know, it is what it is. I wonder what his bounty is at. 260 already. And he ain't done. We got transfer ship Ottoman scouting around. I mean, he probably wants to see who he's spawned next to. Um, whoa! Yo, that's illegal fishing. Look, that fish is in... I don't know. No one really has a good dock, actually. And Malian is just starting to fish now. Double fish. That's kind of... I mean, that's pretty late, I think, no? I think with Malian... Yeah, he's going to have so much gold. With Malian, I think you, you still for sure want to fish immediately. I don't think you want to, like, wait to get pit mine first. Because fishing is priority. Fishing is life. Uh, but yeah, no one really has a... Super close dock to um, 
to the deep water fish. Everyone's kind of... I guess this is the closest to China. Somewhat close. Maybe this one. Oh. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Th 400 bounty. He's got 520 gold already. Damn. And he's moving to the mainland. Oh no. Oh no. What are you, Ozidan? What are you doing, brother? Oh no. Look, he's trying to. Oh, he's trying to unload. Oh no. Okay, he realizes. Guys, that never happens to him. That never happens to him, okay? This was just a one time thing. But it, when it does happen, it's a destruction. China putting Imperial Academy here. I like that. I mean, there's no reason to put it on the other island necessarily. So we might as well do it here. And uh, age up somewhat quickly. Now, I'm kind of curious how many of these guys are going to commit to water. And when I say commit to water, I mean like actually build uh, a lot of fighting ships. Or they're just going to greet it out and kind of hope that they don't get attacked. We do see some of the age ups coming through, by the way. So we got Mongol with deer stones here. Not choosing to make it on the mainland, by the way. So we're going to see what diamond gamers do. Where they choose to make their landmarks. Obviously, I think Kremlin you just put on the mainland. Like, that's an easy, easy choice, right? And yeah, he's going to be going second TC as well. We got Abbasid with culture wing. I like that. I like that. Now, the question is if these guys are going to fight or not. Abbey of Kings from the Island Boy, which kind of tells me that he is going to fight on water. For those that don't know, Abbey of Kings does heal your ships. So, yeah. We got China here. China is coming on the mainland. I'm assuming that's going to be a barbecue right here. Yeah, Abbasid can be killed easy. I think with Abbasid you do want to make House of Wisdom on the main big land. Okay, Silty has landed. And Silty has no gold, by the way. So this is a Mongol gamer. There is no gold here. So he would have to go to this gold in the middle. And I would probably say, like, just go straight to it. Like, I know he maybe doesn't have all the scouting, but you got to secure one of these big golds. How many big golds are there? One, two, three... Four, five, six. Is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it is seven. So basically, one player gets shafted for the gold. So I do think you gotta secure a gold somewhat quickly before the other players arrive. Um. So yeah. I, it's not it's not live psycho. It's uh like they've been playing for 26 minutes If you want to do betting do it right now because nothing has happened yet Um. Okay Okay, yeah, so teal and yellow are not on the main island and they're fighting by the way so This side is completely open Step read out from the mongol. That's a fast age up so Mongol stayed on the main island longer and now is aging up to step read out. I'm a bit worried. Oh no. Oh, he should make a tower immediately. Oh god, this is this might be a disaster. This might be a disaster if knights come here. He has no units, by the way. Like Okay, he is very uh very lucky. <laughs> Cause that could have been really, really bad for him. Yeah, he's gonna age up. He's gonna be fine. Second TC from Bruce. These guys are fighting on the water. He needs to be out of combat for this to start healing. We should. Yeah, it does heal. Look, 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 look at the healing. You see that? You see that? Look at the healing from Abby plus Doc. It's crazy. Can Mongol landmark land it, go and transfer ship? Nope. 
All right. So red is uh, Ottoman, and he is not on the main island yet. What is he doing? Is he fighting? Twelve villagers. Where is he going? Huh? What? Is that, a, that has to be a misclick, no? Is he gonna drop on China's island and try to kill him? China's aging up with the Imperial Palace. These guys are still fighting. I mean, the longer these guys fight, by the way, the worse it's gonna be for them at the same time because there's people on the main line and booming. Farimba from Malian right behind Mongo. Uh oh. And by the way, Malian, uh, well, with Farimba especially, he's gonna need a lot of gold. And uh, well, the west side is a little bit uh, a little bit dry on gold right now. It's a little bit dry. Yellow is coming in next to the teal villager. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! He's like, no. I'm not killing him. Never mind, he is killing him. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. I mean, that tower is gonna go down. So we have a kind of like the not the weirdest game, but you can see the different. I would say the main difference between diamonds that we're seeing right now and the other leagues is they're a lot more greedy. What it seems, right? But I wouldn't even say it's greedy. Like I think what Mongol did is you kind of have to do it. Like you kind of want to age up fast. Same thing with Malian. Like he rushed, um, he rushed, feudal. And then rush castle with basically no units in order to make Farimba on the mainland. So he can actually start fighting. Rus, I mean, I think every Rusi, no matter what league they played, they did like a decent or good opening. And we do see Red arriving at the gold. Oh yeah, he had scout the whole time, by the way, on the mainland. So he actually knew where uh, the resources are. My nose is so itchy. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna age. Man, so many of these guys are aging up with no units. I'm actually very surprised. Like, so many of them are just like, yeah, I'll age up with nothing. Not, no units around, you know. What's the worst thing that can happen? I would also expect a lot of these guys to pick up relics somewhat quickly when they reach castle. Because at this point, like, we've played so many free-for-alls that, that they know that gold is very 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 important in this map and uh well i mean mongol is right here and it's kind of expected from him to attack the malian the moment he saw him oh because the first person that malian is going to attack is obviously mongol right so mongol kind of has to attack him but i don't think it's going to be a good fight for uh he's making donzos yeah you, you definitely need like Cause these are men at arms. He needs like uh, Musafari warriors for this. And uh, we got English and Abbasid fighting it out on this side. Yo, he's landing with the longbows. Watch out. Yo, that's the first attack on water plus land that we have seen this early. And we do see White Tower on the sacred side at the same time. And he's kind of walling his ass in a little bit. Okay, the longbows, killing some villagers, but it's a destruction from a TC. And Abbasid actually wins on the water as well. Ottoman's building up. French got a keep. French got a keep on the goal, and he's got the big stone. So that's a pretty good win. Mongol is beating Malian, and uh, Ilalu not looking too hot right now. If I'm Ilalu, you know what I do? I go and kill fucking Mongol Zeke on water now. He's got he's got a lot of fighting ships. Like just go kill his whole eco and then try again. Yabo, yeah, 14 minute Imperial. And 
He's got Spirit Way and he's getting Astronomical Cock Tower. So you can see these guys are macroing a lot better than, than Platinum players, I would say. By the way, there is like a one or, one or two of these guys are Diamond 3s. But they're not like high Diamond 3s. They're Diamond 3s. Uh, I would say probably four guys are Diamond 2 and then like two, di two guys are Diamond 1. I don't remember who's what rank, but... You can see that their their macro and their aging up is a lot faster. They're like they're very They're they're I would say they're securing their locations a lot faster and they're kind of realizing like oh this is my win condition or like I got to get the gold and stuff like that. Um a lot sooner than some of the other leagues. Now, Teal AK Island Boy not doing too great right now. He does have white tower but he he is in between two players and that that's not looking good a lot of stables which is for fire lancers by the way fire lancers are open for business and this is the first fire lancer spin we're gonna see by the way oh malian gotta keep now this is all great fourth of the hunters uh oh He'll be able to get it up. Now this is a big problem. I think Malian right now is in the worst spot right like by far for many of these guys. Because there he has no gold. He has no access to gold whatsoever. Every other player has gold. Except except Malian, right? Well, okay. Island Boy doesn't have a main gold either. It's right here. Waiting for him. Orange doesn't have? He's also got two relics. Three relics. Blue got the relic already. Purple got the relic. Pink got the relic. Orange got the relic in their main island. Uh, funnily enough, Malian that needs gold did not get it. But yeah, Silty, I mean, he's just going for it. There's no boiling oil, by the way. Does he have the... No, he does not have bank repairs, which are, are really good. Two trips. And I honestly think right now, if you are Silty, you have to... Like, I'm not even kidding. Just make three transfer ships, four transfer ships. Okay, never mind. He taps out. I would make like 3-4 transfer ships and just go kill him immediately because if he doesn't eventually he's gonna come back. And now we see orange attacking. Wait, my score just disappeared. Oh, because he left. Okay. Um, Aussie then now attacking a little bit. On the bottom side, oh no. It's a destruction, sorry I missed it. And he just taps out immediately. Holy fuck. Yeah, Yavuzzi just taps out. I think he he lost the keep. Or he attempted to build the keep probably. Cancelled. TC gone. I don't think he even had any units. Because he was kind of like Omega building up. And he taps out. And Yabu now can go around. Wait, he made three rams here? Oh, he's, he's going to ram this. Okay, I was like, what is he... So Yabu now in a really good spot, I think. Mongol fighting Rus, no boiling oil by the way. And if we look at their, let's look at their resource spent by the way. No food on Yabu. 6k food on Zunicorn. So he is definitely, definitely, definitely not spending his uh, resources. Viva, 2.6k. Also done 2.5k. Whiteyhead with no food because he's been also losing fishing ships. On the water and Yabo. Uh oh. It's a destruction. The white tower goes down. The villagers are going down. Silty? Look at this. 33 fishing boats and he's got no food because he's just mass producing units um, and just fighting non stop. And right now, the two players that are kind of beating the other guys on the mainland are the players that are literally just spending their food. Oh, that keep goes up and goes down at the same time. I think it went down faster than it got built. Which is kind of funny. 
Um, I don't know why we didn't hear that, but Abbas had just aged up. You can see the buildings light up. Three landmarks here for Roots. Spaskai Tower, no boiling oil. Oh, that's fire traps. That is not... That is not staying up. And Mongo playing aggro as fuck. The gold's about to run out. <laughs> French coming to this gold. I mean, why not? And, uh... Yeah, but right now just going around, just burning everything. And, and as a, I would say, right in this moment, blue, purple, and pink are probably the three strongest players. Like, Roos has 8 4, but that is not gonna stay up there. No way. Like, he's got resources, but this is just so many units, and you can't fight this with, uh, with knights. By the way, I just want to say, Silt is still age 3. Still age 3. It's a destruction. Oh, is he gonna commit? No boiling oil. He could just commit, to be honest. Oh, he needs to spread units out. The bombard emplacement is kind of denting him in a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna go down. Yab on this side is melting everything. Mm -mm, no, no, no. It's a destruction. Is he gonna hold? That is probably not. If he had boiling oil, he would hold. But I think the traps will get it eventually. Because he's still just spamming units at the same time. And the funny thing is, again, I think not enough players. I think this is one thing that, that maybe Conqueror players would do better. Like. If you're pushing him here, just make few fighting ships and just kill his fishing eco. Like, it, it immediately stops all the food. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You can't call militia with Rus because they would spawn at the main TC. I mean, as a Russo, you could potentially go Golden Gate. So you can sell food for gold at a very good rate. But Kremlin gives you a lot of, um, a lot of safety early on. Like a lot of safety early on, so I'm not sure. White stupa right on the middle. He doesn't give a fuck. Finally aged up. And Yabo has the most score. Zunicorn actually second highest. Now is a red palace. Sacred side win. Probably not gonna happen considering it's pretty split. And as we've seen it before. Island boy English player strikes again. He's back to <laughs> he's back to his island. And I don't think he's gonna be going out anytime soon. Every single game, man. Every single game. Rus kind of holds, but not really. He's held because he has got main rounds. But there are Springles coming. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. No, no, no. That's rough. Oh, Yabo is about to get hit by the French, and Yabo has nothing but Fire Lancers. And let me tell you, Fire Lancers are not gonna do uh, too great against Mass Knight. Oh, Yabo! Oh my God! Dude, if I'm Mongol right now, I'm pissed. <gasps> If I'm Mongol right now, I'm fucking pissed. He can't push into Rus anymore. He 
it's a distraction. He lost like four or five trebs. Meanwhile, at the same time, Yabo getting blasted. Is he? He is getting elite knights, but oh wait, the French doesn't have the royal bloodlines. No royal bloodlines yet. Okay, never mind. I mean, he's losing a lot of production. He's losing a lot of a little bit of everything. And bow chads are coming out. Oh no! No, you can't kill island boy, man. That's a big mistake from Yabo. He thinks he can kill an island boy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We've seen it before. Mission impossible. It's not happening. Suddenly I feel like purple is in the best position by far. Like this game switched so fast depending on who attacks you or who's next to you. Like, all of a sudden, Yabu lost a lot of his villagers here. Like, some are garrison, lost the DC, lost some stables. He's got no units. And now, French... By the way, French had access to the big gold and big stone, getting another stone. And he could probably make a keep, like, around this area and take this gold, too, if he wants to. Or he can just kill Yabu on this side and take his gold. Relics right here, chilling. Damn. Oh, this gold was never taken. Yo, he should definitely... Uh, maybe get some of that gold. And he's just fighting under the Barbican. Oh, some horsemen are arriving. Yabo is out of gold. He is out of gold. He's trying to get back on gold. And this is the time when the golds are running out. Oh, okay. We got Whiteyhead coming back. I guess teal and yellow are not fighting as much anymore, even though yellow could literally dent in all these fishing ships. Ooh, we got a keep. And that's gonna probably secure... Wait. <laughs> this tribe is firing at this keep. Why is this keep so dented here? Look at this. That's kind of... Oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, he's gonna lose some villagers, but oh, he's losing a lot of villagers actually. Not a good look right now. There's still gold here, by the way, that no one has control over. More barracks. Oh no, purple is now killing pink, and pink is running out of units. Double keep on top of his production, a lot of mangoes. He should, he should resp repair Spaskaya, by the way, immediately. Like, if that Spaskaya gets up, he is saved. Saved once again. Ram's coming in. Does he have... He does have the upgrade. Yeah, this shit's going down immediately. Yeah, that's going down, and Yabo might be dead. He's producing horsemen, guys, and you're not gonna beat this army with horsemen, I can tell you that. Whitey had his age four. He's actually back on the mainland. A fuck ton of barracks. He's getting gold. He is back. He is back. Everyone's back except. That's right. Oh, that's a lot of villagers that are about to go down. And he is getting rammed. But meanwhile, hold up. Purple pu pushed into pink with like 10 knights, and now pink is giving up on orange and pushing into him, but I don't... Yeah, that, that ain't gonna work. That is quadrillion archers against pure spearmen, and pink is looking in shambles right now. He's getting pushed from this side. Roos is chilling right now. There's some fighting on the water. I mean, th this is what I was talking about. Look, Zunicorn is pushing blue. Right? And at the same time, he's pushing his water. That's what I was talking about earlier. Because then you fuck him on land and you fuck him on water. You're just banging him everywhere. And this ain't looking good, Chief. It is not looking good right now. Mm -mm. 
Dude, if Avacid wins, that'd be so funny. Where are his units? Did he? Where the fuck are his archers? Did he lose all the archers? How? To what? Did he run into a bomber tower? He had these archers here, I'm pretty sure. Damn. And we still have six players, by the way. She repairs the Spaskara Tower. And Yabo is in shambles. It looked so good until it didn't look good. And now it looks bad. Now it looks real bad, guys. It looks real bad. Island boy? Yo, he about to, he is about to be crazy. Look at him. He is going somewhere. He is on a mission. Oh, he's got a decent... Oh, he's selling. Okay, he's selling food for gold. You can hear it. And now, Abbasid gets the big stone. He's gonna get another big gold. Has a lot on water. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Abbasid is probably the strongest now. In the strongest position, that is. No one is trading yet, right? No one is trading to the dead players. And Viva makes a siege workshop. Oh, he's gonna make a siege workshop and destroy the building so he can farm, I guess? Mongols coming in hot. Man, I really wanna play one of these. Maybe I should play after this. The more I watch these, I kinda wanna play. So this is funny, Yabo survived. Oh no. It's a destruction. Yabo survived because Silzi attacked Zunicorn. And now Ozidon is attacking Silzi, who is attacking it's like a it's like a fucking they're it's like a train. Orange attacking pink, pink attacking purple, purple attacking blue, and blue was attacking pink earlier. It's literally uh, just a you know Meanwhile, Abachad, uh-oh, double keep, okay. Meanwhile, Abachad is just building up right now. That's bug. Oh no, I think step readout actually burned down. Yo, I'm gonna play one after this one. I'm gonna play one. There it is. With Twitch on, yeah. Poor Yabo, now Rus is killing him. He, he did get the elite army tactics, so that's nice, considering he's going full melee. Keep goes down, 
Now this TC does have the Red Palace uh, Arbor And now we see Abachad pushing into the uh, Roost. It is not going too well considering he got Bombard Emplacement and Boiling Oil in two keeps. Camel Archers coming out. Yo, Camel Archers are actually pretty good here. Because you run out of gold fast and Camel Archers fucking clap. Like, Camel Archers are really, really fucking good. Let's see. Island Boy making a TC on... Oh, no. Hey guys, can you uh, can you scoot a little bit? I want to make a town center right there, brother. <laughs> he's oh, that's funny. He's he's wants to do it the same on this island, but there's a fucking tower just denting him in. A Rebaldequin. Okay, I don't know what he's gonna do with that, but I'm, I'm here to see it. Dude, Abbasid had such a bad start. Such a bad start. And now, I I generally think he's gonna win. I mean, look at the score. He's got 10,000 score. Yo, that Rebaldic one is a misclick for sure. He's making Springles, which is fine. He's making Springles to kill the ships. Okay, I want to see this revolver put in action. Yo, watch out! There is no one in the chat that knew that Rebaldequin one-shot Springle ships. What the fuck is that? Did you eat one-shot one of the ships? What? Did you see that? What the fuck was that? Forty-two damage, twelve burst attacks. Wait, so do all twelve land on the ship? Oh! Yo, he wallowed on his ass. He wallowed on his ass. But I think he's he's maxed out. Oh no, he's not maxed out. Yellow deleted his fucking units. Yo, that's a five head into a six head. Ozzy done only ninety-two supply. He got the wall a lot, but just before it went off, Whitey had actually deleted his units. God damn, dude. These guys are 10 heads. Orange got five keeps. Four keeps plus Pascaya. So this could fight. They're fighting. Yabo is alive. He's over here. He's back at it. Still a big gold here. For some reason, I don't know why. For some reason, these guys are fighting over this island like it has fucking diamonds on it. There's like a mini wood line and that's it. Uh, ooh. Yo, he went guild hall for gold. Wait, what the fuck? Guys. He has 11,000 stone. He's got three relics. Bow chats coming from pink. These are Mongol bow chats, of course. Damn. Two types of diamonds, the instant surrender and the never surrender. Uh, yeah, conquerors are the same, actually. Oh, 
crowd. These guys are ramming each other right now. Only one guy hasn't picked up the relic, by the way, in his main base, and that is the uh, acid. Everyone else did. Guys, what do I pick after if we're playing? Do I pick or do we random? Unretire Mongols? Kick that way. I mean, I, I, I would actually, I think Mongol here would be pretty fun to play. Guys, these guys are fighting over this island, like, I don't know. There's fucking nothing on it. Yo, four Chinese bow chats with Nesto B's upgrade. Hold up. Oh no. And here we go. Is he finally gonna break these two keeps? Is it happening? Does he have Siege Workshop? Five twelve attack speed, five twelve attack speed. Okay, they, he does have an upgrade, right? I can't find the siege workshop, but I'm assuming he does. Let's hope he does. On the other side, he's getting rammed at the same time. Sacred side captured. Yabo back from the dead. Somehow he did not die. And he's back at it. I can't believe so many players are still alive. And like, not just alive, like hanging on. Well, Island Boy's kind of hanging on, right? I mean, like, they're alive, alive, you know? And this keep will go down. And what is the next move for the Rus? Rus lost most of his fishing eco as well. Let's uh, let's do a resource check, shall we? Zunicorn, eleven thousand stone. How much does he have in Guildhall? Yo, he can make a wonder, dude. He he, guys, 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 guys. He can make a wonder. Next player, Viva Mexico. I mean, all right. Aussie then, he run, he's running out. He's got eight on food, but he has no farms. Fishing kind of dead, and now he's getting pushed in even more by the Abbasid. Where's Abbasid units? Abbasid, let's go check next. Whitey head. 59 on food? He's got 59 fishing ships. And still not enough food. I mean, you can see, he has a shit ton of fishing ships actually in the bottom, right? But I guess the deep water's too far away. Like, at this point, I think you want to get farms for sure. Especially as the Abbasid. Next gamer, Silty. A lot of food. No gold. He's got 78 GPM. Mm. No meta's dead. Yabo. He's got some units, but. Or some resources, but he is. We've seen this one before. Let's just put it that way. Can he hold? Mm -mm. I am not sure. I mean, he seems like he spent a lot of time building up this army, and now he's gonna lose it again. He's got 85 army supply. Oh, right, because he has bow chads. Ooh, the relics for... Uh... Yo, he could have gotten guild hall, maybe. That'd be a good pickoff. Is he trying to trade here? By the way, no one's really tried to trade too much. 
I don't mean just in this game. Like, yeah, there's some traders going on. I mean, this is a kick W trade. What is this? <laughs> 12 gold and it died. Okay, well, that was not worth it. Oh, no. No, he just... He just survived one attack. Get ready, brother. Round two. Fight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Streltsy. Okay. Okay. He's gonna be burning down. Let's speed it up a little bit just to, you know. Because there's not much happening right now. They're kind of all stabilized and they're all chilling. And somehow Mongol is just building TCs here and, and macroing up and he's building another TC. Okay, cool. He's just gonna build a lot of TCs. Yabo is fighting and uh, as Yabo defends one, another one is about to come in once again. Unlucky. What is still doing on two islands? Uh, well, this isn't an I this isn't an island boy. This is islands boy. Okay, that's why he's diamond because he can do two islands at the same time. Yeah, and also it's three islands. By the way, he has an island here too. So. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> well. Well. If Abbasid pushes him now, I mean, he's fucking dead as hell. Oh, but he gets saved because Rus is pushing into Abbasid, so he goes back. Here we go, brothers. Yapo's landmark goes down again. Camel archers about to start pumping. These guys are getting... These guys are getting their upgrades, by the way. Mango goes down, but that's so many keeps from him. Like, you, you can't push him to that. He's got to destroy it or something. Like, he needs traps or rams or something. And uh, this is not looking good for Yabo. He loses another keep. Another one. The units keep pouring in. These guys, so it's it's kind of like two different one-on-ones, and then you have Mongol and Island Boy just kind of playing their own game over here. I don't know what these two guys are. These two guys are just on their own world. He just realized he has gold in the middle. <laughs> They're just chilling right now. Yo, he didn't get this upgrade. Stone Boonty improved. Oh no. He's like, get off my wood, brother. And now Yabo is switching to this side. And he is about to mow down Abbasid's food. He says, you know what? Fuck you. You kill my shit. And by the way, that's whole Abbasid food eco. That is literally his whole food eco. Ten K stone still. How much juice is in the box? How much gold do you guys think he has? I think he has seven K gold. Oh shit, he oh, he got the gold out already once.
He got the gold out already. Mongo is back? Question mark. He ain't giving up though. Yellow one, water versus blue. I mean, there's so much shit happening, man. Like, I, I literally cannot catch everything. I'm trying. Oh, now we see Zuni pushing blue. So, Yabu just lost his bow chads, and now he's gonna lose his water. I mean, he's been, like, dying for a while. He kind of almost recovered, but not really. Abbasid villagers are going down as we see. Yeah, there we go. The buildings are going down. Yabu is going down. He's holding on, but... Wait. Oh, no. Yabu doesn't have university upgrades. Mm, that's a rough one, actually. That is a pretty rough one. Look at this island boy. Look at this. Blacksmith right here. Boom. He don't give a fuck. He doesn't give a shit. He's about to get plus one weapons. He's about to get plus one weapons, bro. Let's go. It'd be so funny if he doesn't have a single upgrade. <laughs> He's gonna make scouts! Bro, what is with the English players? Oh, it's not a single upgrade. Oh my god. That's his first blacksmith. We've had some uh, spicy English players, I gotta say, in this migration free for us. Yo. Dude, if I'm Mongo, who would you hate more? Is this Mongo orange or purple? I don't know, actually. I mean, he's kind of been the one attacking. He's kind of been the one that was killing other guys. I mean, he's gonna... Un Dude, that's 100 and 141 spearmen. He's about to unload on someone's ass. Yo, Island Boy? No. Island Boy dropping knights into the main base of Mongo. Don't do him like that, brother. Oh my god, he's just gonna right click with the kips! They got boiling oil! Oh my god! It's a destruction! I mean, they... Let's look at his resources. I mean, yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. Like, even if you... No, 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 you wanna kill the key, bro. Like, even if he loses all the spear, but it's worth it. Oh no, Abbasid is on. Oh, no. Island boy is on his fourth fucking island. Let's go. My man's got four islands. That's what I'm talking about. The spearmen are on their way, causing destruction. Yabo, let's let's get an update on him. He's still dying. Oh. That was a seven out of ten sneeze. And Yabo, what does he do? He makes a couple of bow chats. He's like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna kill your fishing eco before I die." Spearmen are burning everything. He's just right clicking the buildings, he's ignoring the units. And Ozidan taps out, or Roos Gamer taps out, and Island Boy is pulling all the best units right now. He's coming in with 32 fucking scouts. How many buildings can he get? Let's see. Watch out. English scouts are coming in hot. What is he going to dis. What destruction is he going to cause? Let's see it. Mm. 
All right. So anyway, um, yeah. English diamonds are silver in skill sense. <laughs> Let's see. Yabo has been eliminated from the main island. He's got one tower. That's it. Yo, they don't do him like. Bro, is this. Is he really gathering sheep from fucking Ottoman Town Center? Is he really gathering sheep there? And he goes down. Meanwhile, we got million camels. How many camels do we got? 46 fucking camels. They should win. If he micros a tiny little bit, he should win this fight. Oh, he repaired the white stupa. Yeah, get it out. Get it out of there. Oh, shit. I just realized. Yo, he almost got eliminated! Dude, that was his last landmark. He literally pushed in so he can repair and run it away. That's his last landmark. Because the island boy just sniped his ass. Damn. I almost missed that. I mean... Zunicorn, he had 10k stone. Ooh, yo, he can go wonder. He doesn't have food, but he could go wonder. He could. He could. He's instead gonna make keeps. Is he gonna try a sacred side win? Oh my god, how many fucking keeps does this guy have? Let me check. Where's the worker? He's got 11 keeps plus red palace. And all these keeps got the red palace... You know, thing. Yo, he's going for Sacred Side Dub. He's doing it. The Mad Lad. I mean, guys, he has 5.1k stone. He can literally make more keeps if he wants to. And I don't know if this. Okay, why he had. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I don't know if he has enough uh, wood to make ramps. He's got plenty of wood. Oh no. Where is he going? Oh, Abbasid villagers falling everywhere. That's right. One villager goes down. Two villagers go down. Wow. It's a destruction. Amazing. Yo, he's... He's going, he's cooking something. Let him cook for now. Let him cook. And the camels, I'm telling you, camel archers in, in, at this point are kind of busted. Because what can other guys produce without gold? Spearmen and archers, and maybe horsemen. Camel archers are gonna dent all of them. Island boy, we just got confirmation. Island boy is now on. Five fucking islands. Damn. I, I don't know if you want to fight under keep necessarily, but yeah. All right, where's Mongo going? That's what I want to know. Load him in. Load him in. Okay, let's go. He's waiting for another one, okay? I need to see this. French is still pushing Abbasid, and Abbasid is losing production, by the way. Losing production, that's a destruction. And now he's losing fishing ships from a Chinese gamer as well. Another keep goes down. Is he gonna try capture Sacred Side? No. Bro, 
did he really just load like 300 units just to kill this? 100... He just loaded 186 units to kill this. Bro, I thought he about he's about to fucking snipe Red Palace or something. Save landmarks? I mean, he's fine, dude. Cope it. And Whitey Head surrenders from zero to hero to zero. Okay, I mean, he did well. Dude, I mean, French early game is pretty like whatever, but Guild Hall and Red Palace is so fucking good. Dude, that's what you get. No, stop that! Dude, you, hey, you can't beat an island boy. Did you see that? The demos? From the island boy? No, this guy is unstoppable. This guy is unstoppable. Dude, look at him. Look at him. And now he's taking over the main island with 16 scouts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What are these guys? Yo, di dude, island boy is losing one island at a time. That's kind of sad. English no enclosures. Oh, he's got them. He's got them. I checked earlier. I mean, at this point, this has to be a French W, right? He's not taking the sacred side, which I'm sure he will in a second. Damn. Oh, he's gonna go to Yabo. Uh oh. Has Yabo just been making vouchers and killing people's fishing ships? Oof. Yo, he got the sheep. Dude, that's a comeback right there. It's coming home. Mongols back. Dude, if he sniped French landmarks in the mainland, he's got 11k gold, by the way. He forgot to pick it up, probably. If he went here and then sniped Red Palace, unironically, he could have killed him. It's a long shot. Dude, if he actually did that now, like kill the Red Palace and then go main island, then French is dead. Because French, he's not even realizing. French could actually lose the game. Oh, he's out of food. Oh. That's it. Mongol has no eco. Taps out. Silty is out. No way. Yo. Watch out. Watch out. Boom. Give this guy an hour and he's back into it. Watch out! Watch out! The gold's about to drip! 
That's what I'm talking about. Eleven. Dude, he's he's gonna snipe that red palace, I'm telling you. Look at this, he's gonna snipe that red palace. He's going for it. He's doing it. Just throw sheep at him or something. Mm -hmm. He's scouting. He's trying to figure out the best way to approach the situation. And that was the best way. Right there. That was the that was perfect response from him. Mm -hmm. There we go. And just like that, Zunicorn gets the W. After one hour. And this was the shortest game, by the way. Notice. I think literally from from lowest to highest leagues the game have been shorter and shorter and shorter in duration was this one hour and ten damn yeah one hour and ten economy zunicorn not with the most gold actually yabo had 40k gold damn zunicorn didn't even have anything highest except stone by the way so he just out chatted everyone and then military he definitely killed the most units but there was fighting all over the place yabo with 884 silty with 620 ozen with 825 yabo with 15 okay no meta with 26 there it is there it is thank you everyone for playing i appreciate you guys i hope you enjoyed it and um oh no meta says he uh crashed when he edged up to four didn't leave them f but thank you guys for playing it was uh it was really fun and i hope you guys enjoyed it with that being said if you're watching this on youtube i want to uh thank you guys so much for watching and um check me out on twitch i'm probably live right now casting the conquer uh only eight player migration fa and right now I'm gonna go play some. Mm -hmm. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going.